Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about decentralizing the internet. Use distributed ledge for global IP address registrations. First, introduction to today's landscape on the subject, which is the internet is structured around centralized entities such as regional internet registries. So there are five private companies around the globe. Those body manages allocations of IP addresses each one of them holding a piece of, if you would, an entire pie of the registration database. They are bureaucratic and they are also potential single point of failure that will affect the resilience and efficiency of the internet. And what I'd like to add on is the registration database of the entire internet on the IP addresses is only a few hundred megabytes. It's not a big number and yet the five regional internet registry collectively cost hundreds of million dollars to operate. And that is a huge amount of money. And secondly, because they are five private companies, just like any private companies, they're subject to the local laws. And there are five companies across five continents, but there are many countries in one continent which means that it's in a way taking away the sovereign power from any of the countries. So for example, RIPEN CC operating in the Netherlands, but there are 50 some countries in the RIPE service region. But the registry only answers to the Dutch law. And then there's geopolitical tensions, problems among different nations. For example, the sanction list, which caused a lot of difficulty for the operation of the RIPE MCC in the European region because there are a lot of sanctioned countries in their service regions. Thirdly, as a private company, they face financial constraints. They have potential of failure just like any private company in the world. And if one of them fails, we actually gonna have them fail the internet. And they are very small companies. It's possible to happen. So how we solve this problem? I thought it for a long time, and I think the only large solution to that is distributed ledge. What is distributed ledge? Distributed ledge technology has emerged in the past decade. It's also known as blockchain. It's basically a database spread across different sites, countries, and institutions. Each of the participants, instead of one centralized registration database, just like we see here on the right, the centralized database, you have one database, basically one company holding the record, and everybody have to listen to that company. For the distributed and a decentralized case, everybody will have their own record, and the record will spread across the entire internet instead of one single company. And uh, obviously, just by the face looking, it, instead of one record sort of and managed by one company, we have a much higher resilience of the internet just by looking at this graph, right? There because there's a millions of copy of the registration database instead of one copy held by one company subject to one jurisdiction. So that is how we propose to replace the regional internet registry with distributed ledge technology. As I have mentioned, the regional internet registry is really vulnerable. And also, as a private company, they're subject to captures, they're subject to corruptions. I know many people in this room, as well as in the telecom world, is not really aware of the danger of having those five private companies essentially have the power taking away internet access from a nation or a, a continental level of the internet. People will say, oh, they operated well for the past 30 years. We might as well go on for the next 100 years. Why we change now? What's the point of change? The reality is there's a lot of dangerous things happened in the past decade. And some of them is really close to a failure of the entire nation's internet. My company, for example, holding more IP addresses than most nations in the world, and yet we had a huge problem with regional internet registries who try to reclaim the, our entire IP range with hundreds of million live users in our IP ranges. Thanks to rule of law and the judicial system, we managed to put that off, keep the current system intact and stable. But it was really a close call. Think of that. Simply changing the, the registration of the IP addresses, they'd be able to shut down access to hundreds of million users. And one of the internet registry has attempted just in the past few years. And many companies here have far less IP addresses 
than my company. So the risk is real. A nation's internet could be potentially being shut down by one of the regional internet registries if it was mismanaged, if there was a corruption involved in those internet registries. So the change is imminent and it's desperately needed at this point of time. So the benefits of the decentralization, obviously, we propose a solution to solve the problem which we have, as I presented. So it will increase this efficiency, obviously, because there are some colleagues over here who do the IPv4 transfers like my company does. You all know, right, doing a transfer process is a manual labor work. It's, it takes a long time, it takes a lot of effort. It shouldn't be like this. But instead of a human doing all the labor work for the transfer of IP addresses, let's say stock exchange style of transaction, it's everything automated. Instead of weeks of transfer time, we can reduce it to milliseconds. And that's all possible with today's technology. There's nothing complicated or nothing special about IPv4 address or IPv6 addresses. It's just a registration. It's just a number in a database, and not even a big one. A home computer, a home laptop will be able to run a stock exchange on that. And why we haven't done that? Because of these original internet registries. So obviously the speeding registration process, same as the transfer process. And the most important thing, I think the meaningful to most of the large corporation here in this conference is this permanent and immutable records. At today's landscape, at today's setup, original internet registry, those five private companies, your company's survival is depends on one of those five internet registries. If they want to shut you down, they can actually shut down the entirety of your data business. If so, they will, and you might never heard of them. But with distributed ledge, because everybody owns the record, and because it's distributed across the entire internet, such risk is permanently removed. So your record will be permanent, and hence, because you own the token to the registration of your IP addresses, hence you actually own your IP addresses. By extension, on the network you actually operate. And that's the price of many. You don't own your network today because the IP address you register is actually controlled by another private company and most likely in a foreign country. And that's why the security from financial side, from network side, is all increased immensely. So of course there are challenges to, for this radical proposal and radical changes. I understand the regional internet registry was here since the founding of the internet. It's been working well for the most part in the first 20 years of its operation. But unfortunately, that is a thing of the past. Since they run out of the IPv4 address to allocate, and allocation of IPv6 address is largely an automated process, they have lost their purpose for the past decade. And I, the value of increasing IPv4 address from zero to $200 billion, those five companies was not equipped to deal with such massive asset value and therefore they are obsolete. But in order to transfer the very fundamental of the internet for the next hundred years, we need a decentralized technology as I presented here, but it's not without challenges. We need a community consensus. That's why I'm doing the presentation here. I want people to understand the danger, understand the problem, and understand why we are here, and understand that why the imminent change is absolutely needed for the internet to continue to operate for the next 100 years. And additionally, the legal framework, which is almost non-existent with today's IR world. So the IR, the regional internet registry will tell you that they run a database, they provide an sort of opinion to the registration, and you're voluntary to use them or you don't. But obviously, the results of not using them is you're gonna run into conflict of number of another company, and your upstream provider will never broadcast your IP to anyone. So you're basically off the net. But from their point of view, they don't have a legal problem. They just run a database and everybody voluntarily loving them. But for this time, for decentralized technology, we need to solve that problem. We need to know that how internet being run consensus basis and how the legal framework and how all the players in the field would agree to a proposal that we can move forward with this technology and bring a true future of stability.
here I'm going to talk about how to distribute a ledge operating in other areas of things. So they are the validators, they are the banking and real estate, finance, the core of our economy. There are a lot of blockchain transactions today already in all the places, especially in our financial systems. There are probably billions of dollars transactions on a daily basis. It provides two benefits in those transactions. Number one, it's fully transparent. So the history of the banking transaction or blockchains or real estate when you buy a property, you will know who bought it, who owned it, and uh, the whole history will be there. And secondly, which is really important, why the distributed ledger can replace IR. What a core value the regional internet registry provide? Uniqueness in the registration. That's all. And distributed ledger is really good at guaranteeing the uniqueness on an automated process. And uh, if we can do that with the core of the economy in the banking system, we absolutely can do that with IP addresses. As you see in the graph here, so each transaction is validated across the network and it's recorded and it's permanently stored in every single participant's in physical infrastructure. Nobody can remove them because it's impossible unless you're going to destroy every single server on the internet. And nobody can change them. And it's not subject to any geopolitical tensions among nations because it doesn't matter. There is no legal registered single point for any nation to hold on. Lastly, I'm going to talk about something really interesting as well in terms of free trade. Today, IP address, the collective market capitalization of IP address valued around 100 to 200 billion dollars. And uh, the trading volume of IP address today is only one billion dollar a year. That is less than 0.5% of liquidity in an annual basis. That is absurd. Any commodity, from the food to energy, the liquidity of an asset on a daily basis should be at least 1%. I mean, we should have billion dollar transaction on a daily basis. We should not have such low liquidity to earn such important asset. And if we transit that to the blockchain, we not only bring the resilience, we not only bring the security, we bring the stability to the internet for the future 100 years. And let me address the elephant in the room. It also will bring wealth to our industry. Because every company in our industry is an IP owner, one way or another. And if we took British Telecom as an example, today the IP address they hold is 10% of their total market capitalization. So their market capitalization, as I checked last week, is about $13 billion. So they hold about $1.3 billion worth of IP address in total. If the IP address value was freed, with total liquidity as any other commodity, gold, food, energy, you name it, we will potentially have 100 or 250 times increase in the value of the IP addresses. Therefore, that will be 10 times of the market capitalization of British Telecom. The stock price of BT alone will rise 10 times just because they are increased asset holding. And uh, there's really nothing better than IP v4 address to replace the gold because the world has been looking for a virtual asset to actually have a meaningful value, not all the cryptocurrencies who doesn't have the base fundamental value, like meaningful value and limited in quantity, widely adopted. There's really nothing better than IPv4 addresses. It was not born to be a replacement of gold, but today it happened to be the perfect instrument for that. And if you look at the market capitalization of gold, that is 15 trillion USD. 15 trillion USD. It's nearly 100 times more than what IP address was today of the entire internet. And just by the way, Bitcoin today is at about trillion dollar market capitalization. So if we as an industry collectively free the liquidity of the IP before addresses, put it in the distributed ledge, we potentially will increase the market capitalization of each one of us by tenfold. In the same time, we bring security, we bring re resilience, we get rid of potential geopolitical problems to shut down the internet, we bring the stability to every one of our businesses. It's really a perfect solution here.
and I know there are people in the media and accuse me being a commercial guy. But I think there's nothing wrong being commercial. Commercial is what drives the world today. Capitalism has been served us very well for the past 200 years. I see no reason we should change. And it is the commercial value and also the drive that we have a massive internet today. And frankly, the world of infrastructure share benefits in this huge pile of internet. I mean, Google, Facebook, they are much bigger than any of the telecom here. While the telecom have been around and who actually operates the internet. And IPv4 will bring that difference potentially to a stop. Here is the conclusion. The regional internet registry is a single point of failure. It works great for the first 20 years of the internet. It has served its purpose. After the round of IP address and increased market capitalization of the IPv4, they are no longer serve its purpose and they were not designed to handle such a massive asset volume. And in contrary, because of massive asset volume and uh, no oversight, no accountability to those IRs, results a corruption scandal to their, the danger to the stability of the internet. And that has been proved by the story of my company. The IRR, the Regional Internet Registry, have attempted to shut down a nation-sized internet, which they failed, thanks to the Mauritian jurisdiction. But now we have a technology which is not available to the founder of the internet, but it is available today to prepare the internet for the next 100 years. Doesn't matter if it's blockchain or Web3, all those decentralized technology will make no sense and have no meaningful impact on our human race if the core of the internet is not decentralized. And we as industry collectively should embark into a mission to decentralize the internet altogether. This is important, this is imminent, and if we don't do it today, we will risk lose one single internet as we've been enjoying in the past 30 years. The internet might be subject to geopolitical tensions, sanctions, one country internet could be entirely cut down by its political differences, the war could deregister an innocent law passing in the country where the regional internet registry operates can disrupt the internet. And those small private companies, the five of them who run the registration database, could subject to financial failure. And one good example of it is Ripon CC recently facing huge financial difficulty with this membership because they couldn't convince a member to pay enough fees for them to keep it operate. Those bureaucratic organization who operates a few hundred megabyte database, while they did a great job, should be a historical artifact. They should not keep it exist. We should move to the next stage of the internet. Distribute ledge to the core of the internet. We not only bring resilience, remove the potential legal geopolitical problems, but it also will bring liquidity to the current IP address market. Therefore, increase the total capitalization of our industry collectively, potentially by tenfold. And the IPv4 address is really the perfect asset the world has been looking for in the virtual world to replace the gold. Nothing is better. So both from a security perspective, both from a stability perspective, and also from a financial perspective, we collectively as industry should move to a decentralized future of the IP addresses and have registration of the IP fully automated, fully decentralized, fully distributed. And that is going to be benefit every single one of us. That will create an internet that is indestructible for the next 100 years, enable to free communication for our generations ahead. Thank you very much, and that is my presentation.